what is up everybody welcome back to the vod channel thank you for being here today we're going to be watching max and neve's nine craziest catfish meltdowns a little change of pace here with the catfish comps we're going to focus on the host's biggest meltdown which i'm excited about um as always before the video starts we're at 6540 subscribers we have grown a lot so if you're one of the subscribers thank you very much and if you're not if you wouldn't mind subscribing as we are already halfway through our journey to 10,000 subscribers on here so would really appreciate that uh subscribing is free i promise it's quick boom and um yeah it'll it'll mean a lot to me also at any point in the video like the video if you think it's good um i know we forget sometimes so always remind you and comment random stuff as always throughout the video i've been eating some sour patch kids gummy watermelon and i'll tell you what it is hidden okay let's switch on over here Got the beautiful graphic here. Love me some Neve. Love me some Max. I do love me some Cammy, my future wife. But, you know, we're keeping things under wraps right now. Um, you know, it's uh, it's nothing serious. All right. Crazy catfish meltdowns. You might hear the dogs barking. It is what it is. We're used to it by now. Here we go. Number nine. So let, let me just get this straight. Ooh, so I think I remember this you guy. Have... Pretty sure this guy is insane. True feelings for Jen and Skyler in this season two episode, both Neve and Max freak out on Brian. See, why is it always got to be Brian? And this guy spells it B-R-Y-A-N. Don't give the fellow Ryans a bad name. The catfish after he Brian, the catfish after he reveals he believes his coming clean is a gift to his victim, Jen. Okay. Jennifer, I don't have any like emotional feelings towards her. He kind of looks like a sim. I would never be able to have like a, a romantic relationship with her. Oh, poor Jen. Then why the f are we here? Well, she's actually not the only girl I, I spoke to. I don't know, Max. And felt like out of all the girls, this is like the perfect time. This is the perfect girl to, to finally come clean to and end like Skylar. What are you ever hoping to gain from all of these half true friendships that you have online? What, what's the point? I wanted to like brush up my game and this is just brush something up I my game oh no you understand this all makes you look like a huge right yeah yeah i love when neve gets a little bit upset you know get some anger into him let's go i don't really give a damn that you wanted to come clean and set the story straight for all the other girls that you're being a to why did i bring this awesome amazing girl from iowa so that you could clear your conscience shout out to iowa kian is from iowa and so is corn. Because I feel like it's good for her to finally know the, tr the truth. And you, you could have told her that on the phone, though, right? Yeah, but in a way, I wanted to end Skylar. And I feel like by telling Jen who I am, like, nice I end Skylar. Right, but that's all about you. That's you taking care of your business and not really caring about how that's affecting someone else i feel like you got that shirt at um maybe sears it's kind of selfish maybe jc penny yeah a little bit he's got no emotion i'm scared of this guy i feel I like know. uh this guy might be a little little killer type guy you know like no emotion can't read the room my forehead looks humongous when i don't wear a hat Look how big my, I mean, I have a long face, so it kind of works, but God, it looks like I have nine heads. I don't care anymore. He just, he's just standing there. Just hands, you guys hear, like, I'll scroll down. Hands in pockets. Thumb out like he's posing for, like, his, his senior portrait. You know, like he's getting his senior pictures done, and that's his dad. Like, Max is his dad. He's just like, all right, let's take the photo, son. This is ridiculous, and that guy is insane, and I love the fact that they're standing possibly three feet away from each other without blinking. I'm a big fan of all of that. Wow, what a is that San Francisco? I feel like this is where the full house was. Is it San Francisco? First of all, I'm really impressed at how well you're handling this. So, you're literally fishing and hooking girls and then just kind of tossing them back into the ocean with scars. I would just, yeah, I would stop speaking to them. But are you sorry? Or do you feel like you kind of didn't do anything wrong here? 
I don't know if I'm sorry, but it's oh my god, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. You could, you know, you could just lie, brother, and you could just say sorry, even if you're lying, okay? Because now you're on national television, and you look like a psycho. I was giving her like a gift of a gift. being in that that relationship. You know what you, you wanted for giving- Christmas? I was thinking maybe a spa retreat, some bath bombs. Then I decided. I'll catfish you, lead you on for two years. Giving her a gift? Yeah, I mean, she was happy, and I know I was leading her on, but I knew it would never be permanent. It just seems really shallow that you would lead these girls on to brush up on your game. I guess it could, it could seem that way, yeah. You're going to have a shallow... Yeah, I guess so, buddy. Hello, miserable existence, and people are going to think you're a douchebag. uh uh-uh. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go, Max. People are going to think he's a douchebag, including me. Okay? Me and all the people watching this, I'm sure. We do not like Brian. We like my roommate, Brian. We don't like Brian, the psycho NPC sim catfish. All right, here's number eight. So were you and Sarah Grace ever, like, in on that profile together, really? Or not, not, like, together. No. Did you... Blake and Kirsten. After calling out this season two catfish, Kendra, Max couldn't deal with her persistent lies, so he walks away from the entire situation. I've never seen this. Very exciting. Take Sarah's pictures without her knowing it and create the Kirsten profile. Okay, no. There was already pictures on there, and then I took over from there. I didn't create the... Her hair reminds me of Dance Moms. ...about myself or anything like that. What the hell is that? We we strongly believe that that's not true. That's that's true though. That's full. Of Damn. Shit. Bruh. And you're looking at me like I'm lying. I'm I, not. I don't believe that. Well, you don't have to believe that. I'm I not love here the way to that. Uh, I'm lying. I'm I, not. I don't Max don't is believe- sitting like he don't give a he don't give a care in the world. Look at him, leg up, relaxing. He don't care. He's about to roast her. With pretty decent posture that and a very you don't have to believe that i'm not here to convince thing. you who started the kirsten profile it wasn't honestly me i didn't even who was it then once again who's that guy who's that his name looks like connor because sarah told us in a very honest seeming way and i believe her seeming that she was talking to this girl named kendra Sarah, she's not here. Whoa, what the, who's Sarah? What does Sarah do? Man, this, she she set off an alarm. Her ass out here. Let's her you want to get here. her on Skype? We can get like, her on Skype. That's ridiculous. Oh, there's, there's Neve. I am so sick and tired of you telling me that I'm lying when I'm sitting here crying while my kid's the hospital where the I should be. Not here trying to con- convince you of anything. Uh oh. You can't manipulate it with just I'm by not crying. I'm manipulating anything. You cry and then. A lot of catfishes fake that their kid that they they ha- that they have kids and they don't, and then they fake that their kids are sick, or that somebody in their family passed away, which is just very bizarre and very weird to me. So I'm guessing what's going on here is she's lying about this whole situation with her kid, and Max knows it, and he's like, "Cut it, okay? Just because you started speaking all high pits like you're, you know, Miss Piggy, okay?" What- oh, Kirby. We because can't ask you anything. That's else. not true. Yes, I will cry true. all day long and f- talk to you because you... that's not f- true. Once again, what's yesterday going on with that dude? Sarah Grace was in on it, and there was I this lied. ring. Oh, uh, okay. So you're just on camera yesterday, to stare at but now this is. Yeah, it took a minute because I'm going through so much emotional I... f- looking at my phone about my f- kid, and you want to shut up and listen to me. Damn. Just shut up. Okay, first of all, no one ever tells Max to shut up unless it's Smosh. I can't. I talking to him is pointless. You know what? Uh oh, I'm done. I don't need to talk to you anymore. You Good. guys can finish this without me. How about that? Good. Honestly, and that's how I used to record my videos. Just put the camera on a chair. The dogs are playing by me. There. Look at that. Once again, that guy can't even hold the camera. I don't know who he is or why he's there. That looks like a combination of Ricky Dillon and Connor Franta. Honestly, good for Max. Yeah, hey, you look dumb. Hairspray, look, it could look kind of looks like a like a character from the movie and show Hairspray. She does. Well, now you're 
Why with me for 10 years? I because just... I didn't have that bond with nobody else for 10 years. That bond. Number seven. I, I, I don't have no one else that I call a friend. I have you so. We got uh, Andrea, A-N-D-R-I-A. I've never seen it spelled like that before. And David, in this season four episode, Max lost his cool when Christina, a.k.a. David, claimed everything she ever told her victim, Andrea, on was a lie. Oh shit. If I was like really, you know, really wanted you, I would have told you, this is me and I'm in love with you and this is who. I didn't feel that way. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm being real and being honest. I don't buy it. I, don't, what, what, I know I, it's messed up. Well, I don't buy that that's, that's so hard. A lot hard. of this stuff happens where the catfish will be like, yeah, man. It, they'll, either, they'll either say everything I said was true or they'll say, no, nah, I have no feelings for you. Everything was a lie. But then you say, okay, you've been catfishing this person for three, four years, right? Okay. No, I don't have feelings for him. Everything was a lie. Uh, you know, all this stuff was fake. Like, okay, so you got photos from them. You talked to them about being with them. You talked about living with them. Uh, that was all just for fun, though, right? Just a big joke. You don't feel, you don't believe any of it. You consistently did that for three to four years just as a big funny ha-ha. Or... You're lying. Heartless. You are just so needy and you don't have anyone else to talk to and you don't care. That's a real tight jacket, Neve. No offense. I mean, not in a, maybe maybe in a good way, I guess, but that's a real skin. That's like probably a motorcycle jacket, isn't it? I don't really know much about fashion. It's just real skin tight. Care about her feelings or how you're I affecting her, her over or wasting her life because you're like a little baby. You need to cry. You need to cry to her. I care about her feelings. Not really. Come on, man. I could do it out the yellow border. That's annoying me. This is like getting in a fight with someone in, in kindergarten. You're like, I know, I was never friends with you anyway. No. Yeah, it feels like that Pretty immature. Much. Like when I told you I loved you, oh, that was Oh, down fake. goes the cameraman. What happened there? What was that? Mark's a little drunk yeah, on camera. Let's take a look again It feels like here. that Pretty immature. Like, like, hold on, Max. When I told hold you I loved you. A little too much to drink. Dude, that was fake. Yep. A little too much. Why'd they even add that? What's the point of even showing that camera angle? Like, yep. Fake. Don't worry about it, Mark. I saw the letter. Yeah. I just got to be the best man. This thing was written with passion. I can be You can't fake you. that. <laughs> this, this, she sent a handwritten letter and said, I'm still trying to say, nah, I don't got you. If you write, if you handwrite something, somebody you care, right? You write a letter. You take your time out to do that. You care. I was about to say thank you. Cause I mean, I'm telling you like, that was fake. That was a fake love letter. I mean, yeah, but I don't believe it. Oh, is it Barry? Hold on, Barry's at my door. Come Barry. Now we got all the dogs in the room. All three of the dogs. No, it's heavy. not our place. But I'm just saying, I know or, that's I mean, not true. Barry. That Here, look at here's Barry. You guys don't get ever really see Barry. He's rarely in here. Hey, bud. Bambi's under me. Our golden doodle. Petting her right now. Then we got Cooper on the bed, guarding the bed. It's his bed. He doesn't want Barry to take it. He lets him know that very often and barks at him. But we love Barry very much. Good girl, Barry. That's the point. It wasn't even for me to believe, for y'all to believe. It was it was written for her to actually believe. She believed it at that moment. Because you wanted to make sure she stayed dedicated to being your close friend. Basically. Cool. I just feel like it's full of Don't sit up here and get mad at me over something that you did also. She lied to me too. When did I lie? At first you was telling me you was another female. No, I wasn't. You said hell, a, a no. white girl. A white girl. So what you're saying when you first met Andrea, she thought she looked like somebody Yeah, she, sent, she was sending me pictures of another female. A blonde white girl, was it Kesha? Can you imagine? She said, you were catfishing me as Kesha, and I thought you sang the pop smash hit TikTok, and it turns out it was not true. I was in sixth grade. How am I even finna know to make up somebody's picture and put it up here? They don't even make the no The same sense. reason how I'm was okay. able to do that it. That was you. That ain't me. Let him know. Guys, don't. it's hard to know what you're telling the truth about and what you're not telling the truth about, because you kept, not really, you kept you just, some big, big lies. I like big when catfishers will be like, believe me, just trust me, man, believe me. It's like you just lied about your entire existence and per personality and looks and appearance for years, and then you want to be like, hey, you could take my word for it. I'm the catfish. It's going for yeah. 10 years. At the end of the day, there's certain things that I was telling. 
what's going on with Mark on camera? Some big, I mean, he's big doing some theatrics here. Going a full for 10 360 years. spin here. It's another another drunken stammer. Mark, lay off, lay off the, you know, maybe the, the, the iced coffee or maybe it's a. Yeah, like a, an iced beer. Hey, certain things that I was telling her the truth and certain things that I wasn't telling her the truth. That's all. Okay, well, that makes no sense. Well, I looked at your page, your real page, and found a picture of a ring and an... This one we have Roman and Paola. Number six. This season two episode was full of lies and delusion, but it all reached a pinnacle when Max got into it with the catfish's mom. That sounds kind of weird if you read that in the wrong way. Telling her lies are not whatever. Okay. Message that looked like it was from me. Excited to see this one. He sent her that ring. I never sent her a ring at all. When Loira opened the envelope, it had your name on it. You did send that to her, Ramon. I never sent her a ring. If he's saying he didn't send it, sorry to tell you, Ramon. Somebody pretend to be him and he doesn't know? Loida, you want to explain that to your mom for us? What? How that all happened? What happened? The ring. The ring. Ramon gave you money. It was birthday money. You oh, she's definitely guilty, okay? Because number one, she has fake contacts in. Number two, they say, you, you know anything about the ring? The what? When somebody says something like that, that means they're thinking. They're trying to think of something. And like the ring. Oh, I don't know. They're just stammering. They're, they're trying to figure out something in their brain. She's thinking of a lie right now. Online. I don't even know who that is, but I'm feeling like she's lying. You bought yourself a ring. You mailed it to yourself. And then in front of your mother, you lied to her and True. told her he had sent it to you. Am I wrong? Didn't even know the storyline. Already knew that she was lying just from how she said it. Uh, Are you said, surprised, though, that, that no. she sent... Are you lying? She said... Nope. The ring... Whatever. No, uh -oh. not not whatever. It's yeah. important. These details no, are important. Whatever. You're not Damn. really hearing no, everything. Yes, I am. Uh -oh. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Your daughter's a liar. My daughter. Oh, well, I'll tell you. Now, let me tell you something real quick. We talk about Kelly on Dance Moms having the scary, crazy eyes. Well, the daughter is very, very dumb with this whole thing. But, oh, my goodness, that mom's eyes are very scary. I am very, very, very scared of her. And she's about to go crazy. And I hope Max... Defends himself. What is What about Ramon? Uh -oh. Ramon has his own issues to deal with. I, I okay? can see that. And part of what I hope. Well, we know you can see it with the big ass eyes. What we can do today is everybody admits their issues. I encourage you to take this opportunity to take responsibility for what you've done. That Same looks like a, Mo a Mosimo Target shirt if I've ever seen one on uh, on Neve there. Same to you. Okay. I'm just here to try and encourage both of you. To be honest with yourselves. That wasn't a big freak out. I'm ready for some blows, man. Since we've been making the show. Here's number five. We have Ari and Lanum. 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 Eh, well, you know, one of the three. Uh, while confronting this season six catfish, Max kept his composure all while ripping the creepy perp a new one. Creepy perp. That's Every a girl or guy that's ever been in Ari's place fears that they're talking to some mid 40 something year old man who's sad sitting at home in his crusty boxers uh -oh. like typing into the computer and you're that guy <laughs> you're that guy pal <laughs> this, this dude just like getting just roasted <laughs> that was a pretty big there are a lot of things in that yard though i spot at least one boat on the right a trailer, I, you got a like a Jeep that might have been used in the uh, uh, Jurassic Park movie. You have another boat, so this guy likes water. Maybe it's Dexter. We finally met you. He has absolutely no rebuttal, which means he is guilty. And that sucks for you. You're right. Totally. Yeah, <laughs> but it also sucks even more for Ari and all the other girls whose time you wasted. You're not the victim here. He's told me... Yeah, that was short and to the point, but I appreciated it. ...that he would break up Number with Liz four, for me. Number four, we have... Obviously, he didn't tell you guys that story. Number one, this that house in the back reminds me of Kerr's a cowardly dog, you know? It's just like a, a, a house and just nothing but land around it. Nope, no. 
Okay, we got Vince and Alyssa. No one, not even Neve, was safe from Max's wrath in this season five episode. Not even Neve. Oh, the boys are going to start beefing. Max's wrath in this season five episode when he discovered Vince, the supposed victim, had been lying to them. Okay, let's see. Whatever. But like I said, I agree. To it's you not whatever. Start. If you have this girl. They don't like when you say whatever. Girl that you love so much that you've been having a relationship with for a year and a half. Like, why are you right. That's sending a lot of like, that's pictures be of your... I wasn't trying to get let's, any let's sexual not... conversation out of you. Come on, Vince. Uh-oh. Don't pretend, and I won't either, that you're holier than no, any other I mean, guy ever. No, we're, we're all the same that. here, okay? Yeah. We're, Wait, we all... time out. We all have a penis. Are they about to argue? Oh, he's about to be like, I don't do that. I don't do that. I knew it. I could tell. Vince called us in yes, under the yes. under be realistic for a second. under the pretense that he wanted to get this girl the hell right. out of his life because she's ruining his relationship right. with his girlfriend who he loves so much. <laughs> Come on, man, you're making me look like an <laughs> ass. <laughs> he's saying this to the catfish. I mean, saying this to the host of the catfish while well, he's the catfish. You're making me look like a real jerk, Max. I got a girlfriend back home. But You're look, kind of making not. yourself look pretty bad. I mean, Liz had good reason to have suspicions about why you weren't blocking Alyssa. I wasn't trying to get back in a relationship. You with were. I was, was something on the side that you I'll mute for. I'll mute for five seconds. If he got out of the system, no, he did not. Of course, he did. you wouldn't let go of for Liz, which is all she wanted. I mean, yeah. I haven't heard Liz say one word. She just kind of shrugged her shoulders. Look, kind of has the Billy Joel glasses on. Why don't we go back to the hotel and we'll be in touch with you and figure yeah, out another fine. time to meet back up. All right. Oh, a cat. All right, it's pandemonium in this room right now. The dogs are all going crazy. I'm sorry about that. There are a lot of people in the shot. That cat is very small. That is a damn kitten. Uh oh, there's Vince saying they're making me look like a. You look like a. You are. No, Barry, it is not for you. You had to know that she was going to bring that up. I understand. I f***ed up. I, I get that. What, what are you trying to say? If you truly love somebody, you got to not do anything to compromise that. That will come out. Number three. In St. Louis. You're recording. Yeah, our conversation. Yeah. You're recording all this? Um. <laughs> Are you kidding? Here's Zach. Um, That's so f***ed up. This season five cat with Zach, a.k.a. Lucas, conned over 400 women. What? How do you how do you have the time? When man, these are so chewy. I'm not chewing one of these while I make a video again. When Max, Neve, and three of his victims met up with him, three of his victims, things escalated and finally culminated with Neve hitting his boiling point. When I read that initially, I thought it said something about Neve was gonna th like hit him with a boiling uh, a boiling pot. He just like throws a hot bo boiling pot of water at him, which would be kind of wild. Yeah. Let Neve look. Neve, just yeah. take a step I mean, back. Uh, yeah. Look okay. over your shoulder. <laughs> Don't worry about him. Okay. He'll find or not find whatever he's looking for. Yeah, yeah. I'm finding some stuff on your phone. Uh -oh. Okay. I, I didn't. I didn't like scrutinize like. Yeah, as no, as but I, you know, I, I know enough about how to yeah. keep things private to know to look in your Google Drive. Which okay. You probably didn't think I was going to go into. Uh, I, I found. He's like, uh, no, yeah, I didn't think about that. One list that you keep in your Google Drive, list of girls, Jamie in parentheses next to it says, Portland former Playboy model. And then you have a status mm -hmm. uh, list underneath. And for Megan, it says, on the level of saying, I love you, lives in Vegas. He keeps track of all this on like a PowerPoint? What? Just doesn't know she's being catfished. Lauren, also on the level. He has a whole database for all of his catfishes. So he can label what he's doing and talking about to each one. No, Barry, not right now. That is absolutely oh, hell no. insanity. 
he's organized, but she's saying, I love you, lives in Palm Springs, I think, doesn't know she's being catfished. <clears throat> Deborah, been talking for a while, she lives in Illinois, wants to meet Lucas badly, watch out for that subject, oh doesn't my. know she's being catfished. Jamie, talking since November, Ursula told her she's being catfished. Ursula? From Little Mermaid? So you, you, you were keeping notes. That's, that's crazy. And, me. and then and you're not even listening. I am, you want no, your damn saying, phone back. In the videos, which I went through, I found a lot. And weirdly, they're, they come up as videos, but when I go to play them, they don't play, which maybe is because it saved the thumbnail, but it deleted the actual video. But you Those, can see here, oh, Jesus. one of you. This is a, oh a this is a picture of you. Lots oh. of lots of Those? pictures of <laughs> girls that are clearly either masturbating. Or so, so you still have that video. Okay, well, so the, the thing is, he's trying to defend. Okay, the thing about this one is that I got my phone got hacked and someone put them on there. So you have our picture saved somewhere. I mean, likely you know. that they yeah, are. Yeah, I don't <laughs> ever look at that stuff. They're never going to be shared with anybody. How do we know this is like truly over? Because you don't really seem to give a. It's not fun anymore at this point to have something going just to know that it's going to come to an end. For me, as bad as like something like this is. There's something really huh? just odd and off about the way you're talking about everything. Yeah. It's not that you're overcome with guilt by the sheer pain and embarrassment that you're causing these girls. It's about the fact that, oh, you don't want to just get into a relationship that you know you're going to have to end. None of it had to do with, I'm hurting a lot of people, and that makes me feel terrible inside. I thought that was obvious, because it's obvious that I'm hurting these people, and I know that. It's obvious that you're hurting these people, but it's and not. It's not what's not obvious is that what? you care about. That's a bad, see, they all jumped on that one. He's like, well, yeah, it is obvious I'm hurting them. Well, well. That. Honestly, I don't think you would. She's got, I'll tell you what, when she goes to this online to shop, she brows, browses. She's got some pretty strong eyebrows there. Even have feelings. That's how I feel. I think that's how we all feel. I do. I don't believe in anything you have to say. Okay. I really don't. Right, which leads me to my next thing, which is there's only one way to tell if you're sorry, and that's yeah. by- And that's by me kicking you in the balls. <laughs> by stopping. You're right, you're 100% right. 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 Prove me right. Okay. Well. All right, so we'll we'll just be in touch and let you know about we'll maybe meeting back up. We'll send you pics, we'll send you feet pics. Max will send you feet pics. Thanks, guys. All right, see you later. Miss you all. Oh. Bruh. Uh, brother, brutal. Miss you all. Oh man, yeah. So much for being sorry. Oh boy, I feel like this is gonna cause a commotion. Wait, what? What'd you say? Yeah, good. I was gonna say I wouldn't let that one slide. But excuse me, was that a joke or is it funny to you? The end. Miss you all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, what is up with this dude? Like, what is that? That just sounded like a joke. Like, did you really say <laughs> "miss you all"? Like a playful, like that, was that oh, a yeah, playful? Yeah. A nice neighborhood. Did Full miss remark. You. Did you? We'll miss you. You just completely forget everything we just no. said to you about you, like appearing like a total <laughs> head, and then as we're leaving, you make like a jestful remark. <laughs> miss no. you all. Hold on, let me grab. He just dodged a B. All right, Coop, you're banned. Banned. I put Cooper in jail. He's in the crate for the next five minutes of this video. Did he just dodge a bee? Little dead, and then as we're leaving, you make like a jestful remark. <laughs> All I can say, I paused it on its head. <laughs> I paused it where the fly is on his head, basically. Miss no. you all? No. Dude, nope. like... Like he's Neo from the Matrix. You dungeon. really seem like a huge head. Yeah. So... This is such a funny one. This could be the whole thing. First of all, there's a child running very fast across the you lawn here in a second. You really which I think seem like a huge funny. Where did they go from? Huge head. <laughs> yeah. You seem much like a huge dickhead, he says. Yeah. So, think about that. Working on it. That's, that's... Thank you. I could not get to him. I feel like he was about to lock himself out. Whew. All right. Nailed it. 
right, now we have number two. I want to hear the thing that you've been thinking that you were going to say. I want to hear it. I want to hear how, how good it is. I have nothing to say. I don't believe it. Oh, I remember Antoine and Tony. This was a pretty iconic one, and it literally just says, In this iconic Season 3 episode, Max and Neve have to be pulled from speaking to the catfish by producers after things get too hot too fast. I may have never seen this before. I just remember Antoine being a big episode. You have all you have anyway. You don't have to have a conclusion to how a person is. But what's your story? Those are huge speakers at her house. Is she a DJ? Those are like club level speakers. Those are like four foot, five foot high speakers. That's I f***ing catfish people and I'm cool with it. You don't have to be cool with the thing. I don't know. Are you pr you're proud yeah, of cool it? it? Oh, the PS2 in the background. Shout out. Yeah, I'm proud of myself because I do a damn good job. Oh, God. Why okay. even waste your breath saying anything to me anymore? I don't want you to make other people feel like They shouldn't have you to. Very you smart put in people in that. positions to make them feel like well, it, though, Admit it. You. I make people feel like because they want to because they Did already I wanna, is I wanted to feel like already Did they I want to feel like shit. You already You ain't That Your argument is you ain't, you, ain't you already yeah. <laughs> You guys are coming outside. <laughs> but producer steps in. We're taking a break. I don't think the hell we are. Neve kind of got the uh, brownie paper towel guy thing going on, you know? Like that, that outfit that the brownie paper towel dude wears. You know what I'm saying? Great. Dude, once again, I can't get over the size of those speakers, man. They must really either A, have you know trouble hearing or... You're sabotaging your own chef. You want to sit in a room and make fun of the way a person talks. You guys need to get back in there and hear her side. I just don't feel like she deserves the couch time. Hear her out. The producer said, just, I don't know. We need more. Here's number one. Never seen this in my life, honestly. This one is, is that like a, oh, that's like a land place with PCs and stuff. Hey, bro. How's it going? My oh boy, name's going? Kelsey. What is going on here? We have John and Kelsey in this season three episode. Adam, the self-proclaimed king catfish, infuriated Max so much that he had to walk away from the entire situation, but not before calling him a loser who gives the show a bad name. Let's see I'm here. Adam the Gambler. Oh. Adam the Gambler, a.k.a. King Catfish. Whoa. What a... <laughs> so what's your end game here? Just have fun with you, man. Uh oh. That was it. You know, it was a game. It's over now. So this is all just fun and games. Yeah, really, it is. Yeah. This is guy who's supposed to be was Kelsey. He was catfishing and kind of looks like Shaggy. Is there something else more meaningful that you think you you proved with with this? No. There's no deeper meaning to any of this. Whose pictures are you using? <laughs> Actually, a girl I know from high school. Oh my gosh, dude. He's almost like happy about it. Do you have a job? Are you in school? Yeah, this is like my job right now. I'll go here, I, I time the jackpot, so I'll just do whatever I want on my phone, time the jackpot, win about 60 bucks for the night, go home. How do you know you're gonna win the jackpot? I have an algorithm, you see? I count the number of people in here, right? And then I- What is this, what in the, what is this, Rain Man? What? I have like all the times on my phone. I can even show you that. I have all the times that they've ever gone off. He's rigged, right? Yeah, in between jackpots, there's like a transition period where you're waiting for the thing. So I'd log in here, pretend to be Kelsey, talk to him a while. There's just something to do to pass the time. I have no idea what he's talking about, and I'm still scared. Did you create that psychology group to lure people in to then, like, mess with them and carry on fake relationships with? You know, I took advantage of the fact that I had this group up. Yeah, no, let's, let's, uh, let's add this other account of mine in there and let's see who we can mess with, you know? How many people do you think you've catfished? I would say about... Maybe 30, 40, Damn. around there. <sighs> it's interesting to me and fun. It's just interesting and fun. Man, what, have you ever... I was going to say, have you ever played a video game, but he's literally had a video game play, so like... Is your relationship with Ellie something that you even care about? Or are you just using her? Oh, no, I care about Ellie. You know, she's my girlfriend. It's not a cover-up. This dude has a girlfriend. Or anything like that. I, You know, I have genuine feelings for her. I've talked to Ellie before. Sweet girl, amazing girl. What in the world makes you think you're getting anywhere with that? I, I can justify anything. I can justify anything. 
That's Sounds a like horror movie. Pick. Yeah, that was uh, it's interesting. Thank you for sending it to me. I I really want that on my computer. <laughs> you you yourself off to this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I deleted it quickly after. Yeah, Did you just wake up this yeah. morning and say, you know what, I want to play a bad guy on TV. I just want to be the worst version of myself <laughs> that I can be. First of all, there's like a bunch of old people and having a birthday party in the background. What is going on at this place? I'm there's this needs to be investigated. Is that what you decided? Yeah, that was what I. <laughs> that's, I mean, he's so happy. What this guy is freaking me out. That's a big camera behind him, by the way. It looks like Mark, uh, Mark Cuban. That's a huge camera. Is, that, is this really who you are right now? This is really who I am. I'm the Joker. Oh no. I mean, oh my God. Don't, don't call yourself the Joker. Don't do that. This is the kind of loser that gives our show a bad name. I mean, like, we're really sitting here yeah. giving him any airtime. Yeah, I'm the king of catfishes, right? Oh, no, 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 no. No, you're not. I am. No, no, I am no, the no, king no. catfish. No. You're really not. I am. I hate that he's I'm done here. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> if someone calls himself the king of catfish, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what a nickname to give yourself. It's just a big waste. That's oh, all. God. Okay, they did say the best for last. That was terrible. Never I know. Two okay. 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 Wait, what, what, what just popped up there? Okay, well, there you go, guys. Wow. Oh, King Catfish there. God bless him. All right, well, another great video here in the books. If you're still here, I appreciate you being here this long. Thank you very much for sticking around. Make sure to like the video if you haven't yet. And there's the reminder for that. And comment something on the way out if you haven't. And then as always, if you didn't subscribe at any point, please do so now as we are trying to up this number behind me. 6540. We want it to keep going up. Because the more it goes up, the more YouTube pushes the channel. Because they're like, hey, this guy's got it going on. He's got a really great audience and supportive community. Which I do right now and I appreciate it. Thank you very much for that. So I'm going to go. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys very soon right here on Ryan's Average Vods. Peace. Here's a gummy for you.